my inner teacher is coming. So, <laughs> first one is. Ta -da! Oh, hi everyone. I'm Lorena. This is Susan. This is my husband. And we are. How is it going for you today? As it is written on the title, we are going to show you five veggies that are in India that you don't find in Mexico. Can you guess which are those veggies? Well, stop this video. Then write in the comments which ones do you think they are. Play it again and discover which are those veggies. Well, without further ado, let's start. The very first veggie is ta -da! Lau. <laughs> this is the first time I've seen a veggie like this in my life. Um, it is from the family of the pumpkins, but we don't have this kind of pumpkins in Mexico, so no. For those who don't know, <laughs> for my Mexican or overseas of India audience, this is a very sweet vegetable actually and it is a lot it's light we cook it in i how i say that in english guisado mm. it's like a well i don't know it's a dish <laughs> with milk we also make it in something called uh, in poppy seed it's very delicious lau lau food lau posto uh, we also make, um, it's not a stir fry, but like kind of, a, you know, it is not also a curry. Mm, I, <laughs> I will find it later, I will say it in Spanish. <laughs> un guisado de verduras, como un guiso cualquiera. And we put this there. Then we got potol. Potol is also a kind of pumpkin. Uh, but this is very little. Actually, it is called in in Spanish. I don't know where. <laughs> I have never seen this before in Mexico. But it is called calabaza puntiaguda. And well, this regularly goes in guisados. And regularly we cut it in half. I will peel some of it, some parts of it, season it, fry it, and they taste very good. Number three, our third one is chingue, chingue, yeah, chingue. <laughs> I am still struggling with pronunciation of some of these veggies. Uh, well, chingue, um, I don't know how to describe this flavor. It's also very light, quite sweet. And well, we also make it with poppy seed, in guisados, and and that's it, I guess. Chingue, no, we don't have chingue. Yeah, mostly like that. We also put it in some curries, whatever. Then we continue with my fear. <laughs> this vegetable, it's weird. Uh, let me show you. Ta da! Is what this one is called Corolla. I've eaten this in Mexico before. <laughs> And it's a very very bitter thing. Here they peel the these little grains, the bulbs. They peel it, open it, and they fill it up with things. That's one of the preparations. And other one that is what we regularly do here in this house is just slice it and fry it. Personally, I don't like it. I just eat it because it's there. <laughs> My husband loves it, but. It is not a taste for Mexicans, actually. It's, a, it's an acquired taste. Then it comes cockroach. No, cockroach. Cockroach. I think I'm pronouncing it right. Cockroach. It, it is like the sibling, brother, sister, whatever, <laughs> of this one. But this one is sweet. Or at least it's not bitter. So this one, I like it. <laughs> And well, the only the only way I have eaten it is just fried, we slice it and fry it, and it tastes very good, actually. These three veggies, 
we eat it with lentils, which we call dal. In, in, I think it's all over India, they call dal these lentils, pulses. And so when we fry these ones, we first put the dal on the rice and mix it and then proceed to eat the fries of this tree. So, <laughs> well, my inner teacher is coming. <laughs> Let's remember these five vegetables that are not in Mexico but exist in India. First one is lau. Second is chinge. Third is potol. Fourth is carol. And fifth is corolla. Ta-da! <laughs> I hope you like this video. If you did, please give a thumbs up, subscribe, share, and don't forget to follow us on Instagram at one in the Mexican family.